Hey everyone, CPO here, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about syncing the SuperNote devices, the X series of devices, in this case, the A5X and the A6X via Dropbox. So several of you will end up in a situation like me where I have a A5X and an A6X, or maybe two A5Xs or two A6Xs or what have you. Both of them have Dropbox sync capability. And the question that was posed that I sought to answer tonight was, can you sync between the two devices with the same Dropbox account? And the answer is yes. Uh, it's a little tricky and, and I'll show you what I mean by that. I mean, it works. There's just some nuances that you need to be aware of, but it is possible to have content from one device synced to the other device using Dropbox sync. So, these two devices I have in front of me, the A6X, the A5X, both of them are Wi-Fi enabled and have Dropbox set up. You'll see on my desktop here, I have uh, my Dropbox uh, account open in a browser and they're all in the SuperNote Note new folder, SuperNote Note new folder, SuperNote Note new folder. Uh, and that way we can look at sort of the behaviors. So um, what I'm gonna do here I guess just to start out with is I'm going to create a new note file in the A5X. So I'm going to write A5X note. Okay. And uh, yeah, so let's say I've done my work on that. And um, I'm going to close this out. And you can see here I have a note. Let's go ahead and rename this. So it's really easy to, uh, to understand what we're doing here. We'll just call it note. Okay. So there we go. Note dot note. Now let's say I'm done using this device and I just want to sync it uh, up to Dropbox. What you'll see on the Dropbox browser is that note dot note is going to show up in that folder. Now also of note, lots of notes happening tonight. Also of note is that, um, the .note files, the N-O-T-E files, can't be viewed out of Dropbox. You can use Dropbox to synchronize um, and to act as a backup, which is how I use it. However, you can't just like open up that file right now. Uh, the APIs haven't been shared and there's no apps to be able to do that or anything yet. But you can see here in Dropbox, I have note.note .note, and that was uploaded uh, just now. And uh, yeah, so Synchronize success confirm. So my note dot note is now from the A5X up to Dropbox. Now let's say I want to go to the A6X now. I'm going to go ahead and shut this down just to keep things simple. I'm going to go over here to the A6X and do synchronize. And you see here my note dot note appeared on the A6X. So hashtag winning. We're doing pretty good right now. And I can open up that note.note .note, and you can see it was my A5X note. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and modify this and put a A6X comment here, okay? Now, same file. The question is what happens when I synchronize this new file or updated file with Dropbox and back down? So let's just do it, let's synchronize. Watch what happens on Dropbox. Wait for it, wait for it. Okay, synchronize success. I'm just going to refresh this browser. Just make sure, and look, note.note .note has been updated just now. So we can't read that here, so let's come back over here to the A5X and let's resync. Synchronize confirmed. Open up note.note. .note. Boom. A6X comment is included in our note. So it does work and it works back and forth and back and forth. However, there are some gotchas. So, 
I'm gonna do an A5 six, A5X update. And I'm going to sync again. Synchronization confirm. Just gonna refresh the browser. Still looking good. And let's resync the A6X. Confirm. Open up note.note, .note, and boom, look at there. So, <laughs> unfortunately, this is working really well right now, which isn't helping me show you the gotcha that I ran across. So, gotcha. This time, it's gonna do it. I'm gonna synchronize. Both notebooks are now open. I don't know if that makes a difference or not, but I've been playing around and running into some challenges here and there. Uh, and we'll see if maybe that makes a difference. By the way, if you know, like feel free to let me know in the comments if you've got this thing already sort of sorted out. Boom, there we go. So now you can see here, I have a note conflict. And what that is caused by is Dropbox is unable to determine which is the newer document. So I don't know if it has to do entirely with the fact that uh, it's, it's time bound, like because I uploaded, modified and quickly re-uploaded in the same like minute that Dropbox is like, I have two from the same minute. I don't know which is the newer one. So I'm gonna create a conflict file. I'm not exactly sure what causes that. I don't know if it has anything to do with the documents being open versus closed. Um, although in a testing environment like this, I'm doing things that you wouldn't normally do. Like you wouldn't normally like try and bounce back and forth. Like, right. If you had to write gotcha, you would just write it over here and not over there. But I think in normal use, it's going to work fine. But I think if you're synchronizing back and forth really quickly, you can run into some of these conflicts. And I'm not sure if that's the only scenario, but the conflicts are not detrimental. Um, you can see, So it did not update the note we've been working in, but instead synchronized and brought down this conflict file, which is the modified version. So it couldn't determine which was newer, note.note .note on Dropbox or note.note .note that was being re-uploaded. So it created a conflict file, which is basically a copy of whatever it uploaded. So it kept both, both versions. So that's a good thing. That means you can do your own conflict resolution uh, by saying, this is now my new master document. The problem is what you're gonna have to do is go in and rename it because as we saw, it's named this conflict.note uh, with the date time stamp and all that stuff. So now that is my new one and I can uh, delete the note.note and then begin working off of that as my new sort of up-to-date version. And like I said, I, I haven't done enough testing to know whether or not it has to do with the fact that the documents are open or closed, or if it has to do with like the time stamping uh, at the time. But I think most people probably are not gonna run into that issue. Like if you work on one document and then like you're done with it, you synchronize, then you open up and start working on the other um, uh, device and you synchronize before you start, I think things are gonna work fairly well. Um, you're not going to lose data. That's the important part about this. Even though I haven't figured out exactly under what circumstance it, it creates a conflict, I can tell you I haven't lost any data. So if it doesn't know what to do, it just duplicates, right? So you end up with more data uh, and you may have to do some file name management, but you're not going to lose anything. So I say if you've got both devices or multiple devices, just experiment with it uh, and, uh, and, and, and don't worry about losing your stuff. Like it's not gonna synchronize. If you have a blank uh, device with no documents and you synchronize to a Dropbox that's full of documents from your other device, don't worry, it's not gonna delete all those. It's just gonna pull them all down. So, uh, and yeah, so both of these actually have identical documents right now. And, uh, and yeah, 
I hope that answers your question if you're wanting to know that information. And uh, if you have any tips or advice or understand more about this, please let me know. I'm happy to learn from you. Uh, I haven't played with it for very long, but I did want to experiment a little bit. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.